This is, um, I have to say, this was one of those, again, by the way, guys, it ended in a draw. Now, I have to admit, a few moves ago, I wasn't given so it away. sure. It's like telling the end of the story. Well, yeah, I wasn't so the sure. The butler did it. I wasn't okay. so sure that was going to be the, uh, the result. So, um, I suppose we should go to the, the key parts, the well, key moments. Can we just, can we uh, take those three, is that okay? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I think we want to keep it short and sweet. Okay, we'll keep the, it uh, very short and sweet. So we're going to zap through it, guys. Okay. So uh, feel free to chip in at any any stage. Yes, thanks for that. Uh, yep. Give them a give yep, them okay. a mouse. Have a mouse. Have a mouse. You can move them at any stage you want. To. Okay. To okay. So the first question. Um, well, of course, anybody else can offer any questions at any stage, but. Around about here, what do we think is going on? Small advantage for white, perhaps? Maybe. Maybe small, small advantage, maybe equal. I don't know. Okay. So it's certainly... I, I thought yeah. a4 is, is the correct move. a4 is yeah. the correct move. Yeah, I want to play knight a2. Knight a2, bishop yeah. b4 and or something. if you go knight a4 immediately, I, I'm playing asking. b5. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. Okay, so knight a2 possibly allowing the bishop to come out to b4. Okay, so yeah, knight a4 was possible, but after ah, b5, okay. uh, I thought that yep. white uh, has a Thanks, guys. B5. Yeah, knight c5. Yeah, cool. And then I thought we'll just take and play queen b8 or somewhere. Queen b8. No, I was a little bit worried about queen b8, bishop a5. Uh, I thought like bishop d8, or, although I'm not sure now. Yeah, maybe. Uh, still, my bishop on f5 is a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, possibly you shouldn't play queen b8. Yeah. Yeah, just not to allow this. I was wondering if I should just go e5 or something immediately, or maybe white can play f4. Then. Okay, so we think possibly this might be a little bit. This still a little edge for white in this position. Also, I was considering. Yeah. To play knight b6 after knight c5. After knight c5. Okay, in this position, ignoring the trade of knights. Aha. Possibly. Bishop a5? Bishop a5, queen b8. I'm pinning, so maybe the knight can come into c4 or something, yeah? This should be slightly worse or not. Takes a4. Takes a4, rook c7. Ah, you're in time. You're in time. Right? Yeah, I'm in time to just uh -huh. change your. So rook c7, this is yeah. attack, but then this one's going to regain something here on c5. Although I'm not that sure, I don't know. Okay, maybe. maybe. Okay, alright, so. um. Back to the main line. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. I was surprised by a4, but uh, I thought knight b8 would be would be. Yeah, okay. I think it's not a good move knight b8. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was sure that e4 wouldn't work. That's why I, I went for that. Okay. I actually calculated e4 when I was playing yeah. a4. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is a really interesting moment because we were commentating that in this position, if black manages to get knight c6 in very quickly, suddenly it neutralizes any sort of initiative white might have here because it covers yeah. all of those key squares on the king side and obviously stops this e4 push as well so you had to do something here and when no, you I mean if if i didn't see that i had e4 obviously you wouldn't I would never play a4. right okay. I, I thought yeah i was thinking that a5 was the idea but that doesn't work so yeah you just take little pen, yeah. take knight b5 and okay it's not that obvious but take knight b5 and queen b6 being work. the point yeah queen takes on e2 and Queen b7, oh, queen b6, uh, no, bishop f5, that's... Oh, I see, what do you mean? Yeah. Is that still very clear? Is, is that, is that still yeah. It should be clear because b7 is false. Well, b7 is on three afterwards, okay. Wow, okay, right. so that's correct. Ah, oh, right, okay, so that knight isn't trapped, okay. It's not trapped because you, you can pick up that pawn, yeah. really. Okay, fantastic. So e4, wow. Although bishop b4 in the last position, maybe so. Ah, okay, uh, one, wow, four. okay. A5 it's great, isn't it? There's always one extra little bit to go after that. We go, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, but that. Oh, but that. Okay, sorry, question also there. Also, the night. Yeah. Oh. Oh, the screen is... The technical guys. Do, not, do not worry about that. Um, for the moment, that'll, be, that'll be done in a second. Oh, maybe not. You get a blue screen. Small instead. reset. I've got a question from the audience. Yes, Quick yes. Question from Twitter, very quickly, while we reset the screen. Um... Right, we don't have a question from Twitter just yet, so let's go to the audience. Make it good. Who wants to dare? Anybody at all? 
anybody, don't be scared. It's not like they're the world number one and three in the world, you know. It's... <laughs> yes, we've got a question. Front row. I'm just thinking, do you guys actually look at the other games while you're playing in some analysis? What you Good question. Doing? Do you look at the other games? Well, we know you do because we see you on the webcam walking around. But do you actually yeah, analyse? From time to time, yes. <laughs> do you do that when you're in a winning position, or is it more dangerous to do it when you're in a winning position? Well, I, I generally don't do it if the um, situation on my board is very critical, but if there are some things going on in the other games that are consider consider considerably more interesting than what's going on, <laughs> then I might you know, have a look. Quite good. Okay, um, the, the board is instead. I think we should just quickly go forward because this is great. I mean, because this looks forced, D takes E4. I think the board is coming back now, which is good. Um, yes. Or it's uh, the, the space, space, one of the two. The final frontier. Yeah. D5, yeah. Knight D7. So this is all four. So this D5 push is an excellent way to try and, uh, I suppose, um, utilize the bad positioning of this rook on A7. And then, of course, this would drop. So black had to go knight d7, I imagine. Now, bishop e3. Now, this is a really interesting point, because in the analysis room, we here, rather, in the commentary room, not the yep. analysis room, we were wondering if you could just go knight c5 rather than bishop c5 here. Well, I mean, to, um, to be honest, I, um, I, I didn't think this e4, d5 thing would work at all. And uh, I, I couldn't see a refutation of um, of knight c5, but I thought that bishop c5 would be e even better. And uh, I didn't see knight e4 at all. So, well, if you wondered, yes, I was that naive. Oh, right, okay. So you missed, you missed in the game 18 knights takes c4, did you? Yeah, you? and then, you know, ah. I just wanted to... To simplify as much as possible. Okay. No, I just wanted to lay down and cry. Actually. Oh wow! <laughs> have well, you ever, have you ever actually I, done that in a game before? I think no, we need uh, really. uh, Malcolm's listening a bed for the next round, just in case. <laughs> and some uh, tissues. Yeah. And some clear. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. But, but nine C five. Let me just say it's interesting because we had a lot of tweets about this and, and yeah, nine C five point eight two, B six A five. I was actually not sure what's happening. Point eight two. Okay. Yeah, b6, a5, then, uh, yeah, the, the idea of queen e2 is that if I play queen c4 instead... You yeah. know, no, no, just go b6, a5, yeah, b5. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's that's why I have to play queen a2. Okay. So a5, b5, and then he manages to put his rook on c7. Yeah. So uh, that's why I need to play queen a2. Okay, queen a2. B6. But, but do I need to go b6? Can't I go rook a8 here? Uh, yeah, you, you can. Although I was thinking it's. Yeah, I was actually not that. No, rook a8. Rook a8. Oh, sorry. Rook a8. I was actually planning to take on a6, only a 6 at some point, and place bishop c4. Uh -huh. You know, I thought that this might give me a slight advantage. So. Okay. Not so clear. Not so clear. Okay, so knight c5 definitely possible, but. Yeah, Magnus basically. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's definitely okay. much better than bishop c5 because here I'm, um, well, okay, not definitely lost, suffering but, a little bit, but yeah. suffering a lot. Actually. Okay, yeah. so we have bishop takes e3, f take, uh, queen takes, sorry, queen b6. Now, knight g3. Yeah, yeah. one quick question. Yes. Uh, we did look at knight d6 there. Is that at all a possibility instead of in this particular position? Yeah, I was actually not sure, because I was thinking 96 rook a8. Rook a8? Yeah. Yeah, and we had this long line that we looked at with Luke, where we we basically took a load of things off, 1b7, 1a6, and you might have had a bit of pressure, but recalling that, it might be a bit difficult. Um, <laughs> well, so if you take on b6... Yeah, let's just do some more b6. Do you take on e6? Uh, uh, oh, okay. e6 and a5. Yeah, it's take on e6 and then pawn a5. So d takes e6 and now a5. Yeah, probably I should have went for this. Yeah, bishop e6 and a5. I was somehow, uh, you know, very confident that knight g3 is a very good move. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, this looks has to be very bad for black. But after knight g3 as okay. well. Okay, so possibly that's good as well. I didn't knight. even see knight d6. 
No, I saw that. Also, a5, knight, d5, knight, knight, b7, knight, f4. You know. Oh, yeah. Then uh, bishop f3, rook b8, and you know, square bishop b4. Knight c5? Rook b2. Knight a6. Yeah. Sure. You've got a pawn. You've always got a pawn in a lot of areas. Yeah, You've got right. extra pawns. I need to check. You know those things. Are yeah, maybe it's some. I don't know. It would, yeah. You know, we were just throwing the idea around. Knight d6. Okay, so as the game uh, took place. And somehow I, I was thinking that this is completely lost for black, and, and I lost. You know. Uh, where did you think you lost control in? Because it was around here that, especially next door as well, they were saying. You know, this should be really quite good for you. So no, I mean, rook, rook fd1 is, is a normal move, I guess. Yeah, rook, yeah, that's the best move for sure. Rook d6, bishop f7. So you're still happy here? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have just allowed him to play a5. Play was, a5 yourself? I was actually considering a move like b4 here. Come again? And then I forgot that I was considering it, yeah. <laughs> You forgot yeah. about evil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, there's hope for everyone else, of course. No, at first, I I spent uh, actually when I played rook d6, I thought that after bishop of seven I'll go e4, and then uh, somehow I didn't for some reason. Because it's good if you play z5, then I just go rook c5, and then uh, rook e8, rook c7. I guess. Looks pretty, pretty annoying. Yeah, certainly and does. Then I played this bishop f3, and after a5, I remembered that I forgot. And I was, <laughs> you remembered that you forgot. Okay. Yeah, I was not quite happy. Problem comes if you forget you remembered you forgot. That would be a problem. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So a5, rook b6. So still. Yeah, this is still. This still looks good. good. Yeah. Bishop b8, and then yeah, I have started playing terribly. Yeah, I actually got upset that I'm not winning at once because bishop e8, now b3, bishop c6, and Ooh. then and then I got this brilliant idea, uh, which was not brilliant at all. I thought I'm taking on e6, bishop a4, and I'm going knight e4. Sorry, so in this position, no, 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 this, this no, no. I didn't like so much because he gets the activity. Right. So and I then t takes rook c8, I think, first. Yeah. Um, sorry, are we talking b3 still, are we? Yeah, I thought... Uh, We're going back and forth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought enough. bishop e6, uh, rook e6, bishop a4, and then I had this idea to play knight e4, which I thought was almost killing. And then I saw that he actually is able to make a draw here. He just simply takes on e4 and plays bishop c6, a move that I initially didn't consider. Yeah. Bishop c6. Bishop to six. Otherwise, it's just terrible. And then the rook end games draw. Is that because all rook end games are drawn? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> okay. No, and also, he attacks the b two. I can't believe. Yeah. Can't defend. Okay. Okay. So bishop. So we had bishop takes a four, rook e seven, uh, rook e eight. <coughs> Yeah, then I've got another mirage here. I've got knight f5, rook e7, knight e7, king f8. Then I was planning to play rook c7. But it actually is rather stupid, because he goes bishop d7, knight d5, and simply king e8, because... Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, king e8, yeah. And bishop... Bishop, bishop and ending in this one, right. Yeah. After let's say knight f6. Okay, knight f6. Okay, so we're looking here, here, and then. Yes. Okay, but white has to take on f b7 at some point, and I'm in time to get the king to e5. Yeah, just king e7. Yeah. And also uh, another point is is that in case white goes, white goes um, king f2 instead of taking on b7. Then you can probably play then I, Yeah, but, but then I can also go king d8 and I get the temple with king c7. Yeah. Yeah. King d6. Yeah, this should be a draw. Yeah. It's just by my yes, this was all quite frustrating. Okay, so right. So and then when I played e4, I had this <coughs> this kind of uh, tricky idea, which uh, yeah, I thought rook c5 a4. Uh, no, I mean bishop d7, rook c5. Yep. A4, 
and then I and I thought I'm playing rook a5, knight takes c4 and bishop d5. This looks rather spectacular because bishop c8, bishop b6, and rook e5. I mm -hmm. would do this. Nice. And otherwise, rook e5, knight b6. I I get the a4 pawn. <laughs> so yeah, and then I once Magnus took on e4, I realized that. I, I actually blundered something. Okay, so we have. <clears throat> yeah, then. Just <gasps> Threading mate. Yeah. And also, Bishop A6. There was one funny line which is. Yep. Bishop A6. And now Rook C1. Uh, Bishop F1. Now, okay, Knight D2, then Rook F5, and Rook and F2. Rook D2 yeah. So I don't want to do that. No, although you have rook d1 there. Yeah, but then you go g3. Okay, it should still be drawn. But what I thought I can play yep. is here after... Um, I, I should go rook b1 instead. Yeah. And now if... Um, no, if rook f5. You're gonna win this, you're gonna win that pawn just anyway, yeah. Yeah, and okay, let's just say rook f5. Check. And then king g8. Rook d5. And I, okay, rook b2, bishop c4, and now I can go king f8. And uh, rook f5, I have knight f6. Wow, so look otherwise at that. it would be losing. Crazy variation. Okay, king here, rook e5, check. Only move, knight f6. Yeah, so because we... otherwise I would be lost after yeah. bishop c4, I think. Wow. Yeah. So you have to see that. So before. even there, that's got pretty... Yeah. Well, well, it's crazy. one little... Okay, it's not that hard to see, but it's uh, at least one little trick. No, it's fairly easy to see that, probably, <laughs> really. Don't know what your waist hanging around for. Okay, um, yeah, so after rook f5, check. Knight f6. Yeah, then it's just a yeah, then, yeah. I forgot about rook e6. Oh, okay. Oh, right. And there we go. Yeah. Okay. Guys. Thank you very much indeed. Any, uh, yeah. any other, any, just any, while we have them here, any quick questions, no tweets? We've got a few tweets, but I'm not sure they're, um, they're so, such good tweets, guys. Some, uh, some, someone I think said, these guys are unhuman. <laughs> Can we just confirm, <laughs> are you from this planet? I'm not. Yeah, so there we go. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, oh, sorry, we have a question here. What? But just to repeat for the audience at home, it seems like you made a few more mistakes, both of you, than normal. Were you nervous playing against each other? <laughs> um, no more nervous probably than, no, any, uh, than any other games. I'll just... Um, Does for now I'm just concluding that there were a lot of mistakes. Now I don't... I no don't particular want to reason for it. Uh -huh. No, I don't want to speculate on the reasons for that. You went out on the town last night or no, anything? No, no. Okay. Well, I, uh, I normally make plenty of mistakes, so oh. nothing out of order. I just, I'm impressed that our audience noticed that you made loads of mistakes. Yeah. I'm impressed that you can get a rating of 2800 making so many mistakes. Yeah, that's Makes me think how many mistakes we and you make, Chris. We yeah. must make billions in one game. I think we, they're just lucky that their opponents make more mistakes. That's right, than they, they mostly happen when I have good position. Yeah. Oh, right. Mistakes okay. start. Okay. I've got a oh, one more question. question. Um, obviously, Okay, this is a good question. Wow. Uh, the rest day was yesterday, uh, as you all know at home. Um, did Magnus and did Lev do anything else apart from prepare? Or were you, did you lock the door, put some wood over it, and make sure that you got 15 hours in for each other? Buckingham Palace, maybe? But I went to, to the London Eye. London Eye? Oh, wow. Okay. With uh, the 60 Minutes team and then... Oh, well, okay. And uh, another interview as well. But it finished pretty early, so I had plenty of time to rest. <laughs> okay. So you a bit of London Eye left. Did you get out in London at all? Uh, yeah, sure. I've been around everywhere. But I, uh, yesterday I was meeting with friends, and also I, I had a... I was... Uh, present at the reception uh, in a, with our Armenian ambassador. Oh, the Armenian ambassador, okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Just your average day. So, yeah, <laughs> the Armenian ambassador, the London Eye. 
What did you do, Chris? Anything? Uh, anyway. Not even um, those two things, I can yeah. tell you. Guys, I, thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much for the round of applause.